Developing story in the city of Bishop tonight where a major game room raid is taking place right now. It's the latest effort to crack down on suspected illegal gambling operations in that community. At least one person is in custody tonight as authorities continue taking inventory of machines and money inside the establishment. Our Bill Churchwell has this update for us from the scene. Around six o'clock when authorities raided the Jolly Time game room right here along Highway 77. In fact, it wasn't even a year ago when the city of Bishop's Police Department went after seven game rooms in the city, including one right across the highway near the high school. Inside this old tire shop turned game room, the flashing lights catch your attention from the doorway where you can clearly see a couple of what authorities say were dozens of gaming machines. Bishop Police Chief Edward Day says their investigation led them to believe there was illegal activity taking place, namely cash payouts. Obviously the business model of most game rooms is gambling, paying out. That's why they bring in customers. That's how they bring in customers. And when they do that, they're crossing the line of legality and that's when we get involved in it. A little more than a dozen patrons were said to be inside during the raid. Their information was taken down and they were allowed to leave. Folks driving out of the property were not willing to stick around to speak with us. Usually those individuals are identified and they're least they're not the aim of our investigation um, mo most times they're actually being victimized by these businesses themselves because they're not regulated businesses outside the building a number of law enforcement vehicles all part of the Nueces County DA's criminal interdiction unit chief day says since joining two years ago his department has seen significant benefits since that time uh, we've taken part in dozens of uh, criminal investigations. We seized hundreds of thousands of dollars in currency. We've gotten weapons off the streets. We've gotten drugs off the streets. Able to verify there was criminal activity taking place here. Mike Tamez leads the unit, which is comprised of five different law enforcement agencies. He says this type of activity is not a victimless crime. One, they can manipulate the devices inside. They can take control of them. They can reprogram them so the house wins way more than the individual patron. One person is in custody for operating a gaming establishment and engaging in organized criminal activity. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.